Hello? Hello, Hey. Good day, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, how are you doing? Um, uh, really nice to hear from you, Dr. Job. Yeah. I, uh, got a comment on my YouTube channel the other day. The person was thanking me for posting your videos. And I just said, you oh, know, yeah, it's amazing. it's really my honor. Yeah, yeah, how amazing! Um, yeah, because um, um, you know, where anybody is, of course, like where you were, or anybody is with the with like the house where this was, or even the, the children, or where someone is, or where they will go, even into the future moment. Uh, let's say that something was just knowledgeable, and that knowledgeableness, you know, really did cause uh, a cascadedness of events not to have to have occurred, but that, you know, it can have took, taken somebody something to have found things, doesn't matter what it is, it's like, you know, um, in physics, uh, we can have found some things which have been hidden from everyone, but it's there, um, and... Coming back to like all these issues, sort of what that relates to, um, you know, your your being in society or anyone's being in society, um, you know, it relates to your knowing who you are and what is the domiciledness of what something comes from. So if it comes from a man or a species of woman, of course, you know, um, it is not defined, right, and only um, that you could say is that, that uh, a, a species of women um, is certainly above all the things that a species of women created. So the things that can have been created could have been new life, which then that has uh, property and things which is really about uh, the enclosure of yourself and or bridgedness of wherever that can have been. But then let's say that you and I or anyone we're going through life and that if the, as you know who you are, as I is, as I is empty as this background canvas and that you're coming from a domicilness of I or anyone else's and that one can come to realise that in everything that you do, more that it is a possibility that you are functioning from this I versus from a, a persona, which a persona is really just a limited, something limited, not your uh, 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 potential, yeah. So yours and my full potential is as a man, and so that a man, a species of woman, then creates all these other things like the constitution, or trust and things, and um, then the gubernatedness is underneath the constitution, and. Uh, and then underneath the constitution is gubernatedness, and underneath the gubernatedness, of course, you've got all the corpses um, and private corpses and things which are for profit and making a profit. So they're not actual government or judicial or administrative branches of, of, of things at all, but really a corpse of itself, and it's only of a limited um, capacity to function. Um, but um, because... Uh, a small secret has existed, of course, that you as a man, of course, created these things and you're the one who owns everything around what's existing and it can't exist that it's possible for you to give uh, to things to be um, set off. And so, yeah, uh, as a man, then the man can uh, redeem his uh, tax deductible uh, condition in the system and then make the system work and but also your one can be learning how to more be a, a financial uh, for, uh, for a sovereign fiduciary a sovereign fiduciary yeah you are sovereign fiduciary and then one can learn what you know administrative uh, administrative law is which really is to do with how something um, is uh, set up so that set up is an administrative function of a presentment and in a proper presentment of any nature um, 
there's a meeting of the minds, and where there wasn't a meeting of the minds of any nature, there, there can have not been too much of a good contract of anything. Yes. Can you hear me? I can. Um, I, I'm i just glad I'm recording so I can go back and review. Uh, you know, right. like you said, it's uh, some of this is is out in the open, but it's not taught, so I, it's new to me, some of the language that you're using. But it's interesting, so I'm okay, going to study. Okay, well, yes, okay, so first of all, all right, yeah, that's true. That's really so too. Um, and so, for instance, if I said, of course, as you're just saying, uh, two and two make four, um, but when you read it, you could see T double O um, or T O plus T W O, um, and that then either neither of them make four, uh, only uh, T W O plus T W O would equal four if you were adding it up. But if you just heard somebody say two plus two equals four, you'd not wonder how maybe, um, or it could not necessarily be being used in the same way, words. So um, common sense just is what, you know, it's supposed to prevail, as you pointing out. Um, something has to make sense. So, so far, if somebody had said some things and it didn't make sense, like, um, you're a man, I'm a man, um, and um, that's it, really. Um, you know, um, but if I said I was a person, um, could I, I wouldn't be sane to have said that because I would have pitched all the rights what I have by having said uh, something insane, maybe. You see? So you're not a person nor a, a colour of man, like a human. You know, those are words which only relate to a person, you see. And a person is something that's fictional, that's like your Casper. But you do have a person and that's what's your uh, property. And that's what could be injured, where harm um, would have been, it would have been more that would be related to more bodily conditions and things. Yeah, I, I I've been very very strict uh, oh. as far as uh, Could you hold? Could yeah. We hold just one second because I'll just man, man something in the moment here. Just uh, just hold one second, mate. Sure. do anything you want, but what I've jotted down so far was kind of a, uh, a logo that has your um, fruit of life and um, it's okay, a... So if you get the fruit of life, the uh, eclipse movement, which is really to do a lot, well, um, the fruit of life, of course, is, uh, is a, a longevity and, uh, and things, okay. and uh, and the, it's, uh, and the fruit of life really is really the fruit. Um, but um, the 
Eclipse is a movement which is really to do more with these things, what we've been talking about. You're a man and um, you're a corpse. In other cases, you're a corpse. It's fictional. That's not you. Um, if you've been uh, mistaken with that, that has to be corrected administratively. Um, and then one can do a lot of things as you or anyone can uh, correct things. Why? Well, because you have a right for presentment, don't you? And anybody you ask for uh, an apple and somebody gives you an apple, or if you ask for an apple and um, somebody gives you a bucket instead, um, they can give you what you ask for. Um, and so a meeting of the minds where something is existing and nothing is presented until that's complete, but otherwise it would be presupposed, wouldn't it? And if you if you just trundle along with any presupposition, it means that um, by your acquiescence, you've not necessarily said anything about that, but then, well, um, somebody could have done something for their own sake and they never really considered um, how that kind of impacted you in a, uh, in a way that could have damaged harm, costed or injured you in some way. And um, But the first thing somebody has where anything is is your capacity to be able to uh, say who you are and if you're functioning from what and who you know you are. And until such a point of this person, someone's learning, aren't they? But you could certainly, once you've learned that I'm a man, well, why would you want to be a person or anything else? You can't be a plain tiff because you will have reduced yourself down to a level of um, yeah, something else. But then if you're asking somebody that's living to be present to hear what you've said, you have to make a testimony somewhere, and that must be in your voice, and you're invoicing things. But if a cost has existed and it has to be put and it wasn't, well, how would anybody know some cost has to be? Otherwise, it's just a very frivolous thing, isn't it? But you have to have some sort of a claim like anybody else does, but most people do. But you've got to put it down in a manner that, and what, how is it? Well, it would be certainly like a trespass, wouldn't it? Because it sort of starts with a bit of a trespass. And then a lot of things go on, including, you know, like a bit of a closure and some things. So those are two things which, no matter what, everything relates to that, doesn't it? And then a lot of things could be um, separate claims and claims not all connected together as one claim. That's ridiculous. How could that be? Um, but every single thing is, is as a claim of itself and it could be... Um, and you or anybody else, you know, you have to be in your own suit, just like um, anyone else. But where something is, if you're in your own suit, it means that you're in your uh, your uh, um, court of record. And you're doing your court of record if you're, you're in your sovereign capacity and your fiduciary capacity. One can be understanding a little more, you know, what the, what the meaning of this is. So, um, first it is, of course, we said, you're a man, so it can't be reduced to more, the less. Anybody who said there was something else has reduced themselves, haven't they? And it's not from their uh, uh, polypotency at all. But saying as a man, all that is existing, that everything you created or man did, did that to him to be the beneficiary of this all. But if somebody reduced themselves on a piece of paper somewhere to abrogate, have abrog abrogated their rights um, and have said that it looked like a piece of paper that somebody was dead versus living, those are a matter that one has to be correcting with who you're dealing with in any incident, you see? And so somebody can have acted in a capacity of a fiduciary by you know, um, making a money order and giving that and having the proper paperwork for that to have gone forward. So just, you know, you've had that delivered to the um, Secretary of the Treasury and you've made necessary arrangements for all things so that something is, is uh, paid for and you get the um, a rebate because of it. Otherwise, somebody else will have got that. And these are things which somebody should start to understand a little bit because you could... Understand a bit about something where someone is, um, but the fact is that um, you can have never surrendered any of your unalienable rights, and um, you have a right to uh, be in the private in your own being, and uh, you don't have to have reduced yourself to some fictional entity. Uh, and as a fictional entity, anyway, there one could have never really sued because you can't necessarily have any standing because you're not coming into your own living being to make any actual testimony. Um, 
And so no testimony ever was, and a lot of things have gone on for everyone, but nothing was recorded as any testimony anybody ever did, you see. So understanding the judicial process more and understanding how common law gives you a capacity of having a, having a uh, common law court of record, your own common law court of record, so you're using your peers as you go along in any process. And so you are applying this to be cleared up of things um, because um, you didn't agree for anybody to convert anything into a commercial condition or a privilege because um, you're a living being and only a corpse could have uh, be under commerce or privilege, you see. This making sense to you, It's It actually it feels empowering what you're telling me. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it should be someone can be understanding more, um, but that. Um, you're, you, like anyone, can go underneath the law that you choose and you could be going under a flag, you know, or something which is um, where one of the people which you are as a man or anyone listening is, uh, as a woman, um, you're the one who has owns everything as a secure part of creditor and it's your account that you need to become aware more of and to be able to be uh, a for a financial, a fiduciary in a sovereign capacity of assisting to help um, the IRS and assisting to help things where they are versus um, you know, being belligerent and not knowing how, what to do. But where somebody most would have no standing to have any claim because they are only in a fictional state. So. Um, Yet one alleges, of course, some personal injury and that they have to be particularised, you know, that's concrete. But that's what I'm talking about a claim, but somebody could have a claim, but you've got to give notice to people and things. You've got to do what you can to bait the matter or ask people to show cause of the other claim. Um, and then any paperwork of existence is going to be sent back because a lot of things is going on there, but you're first letting anybody know that some you know, mistake has been made and you're making uh, your own testimony in uh, a matter of a hearing in a paper that's written to say such, which is a call of truth requirement and abatement to show a cause. Um, you know, and you can be putting, um, giving some of your money and learning how to do that from your trust. Um, from the estate that you're supposed to credit for of, um, and you can be giving them some money for making them responsible as your financial, uh, as your fiduciary, as a uh, administrator of the trust, um, and you have a right to make who's there as the other administrators, administrators, as the um, a trustee of the matter to make sure things are done. So one can learn all about what this is and you can learn about um, 10, uh, 99 uh, IOD and 1040B voucher and 1096 and um, 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 another form which allows you to, to uh, form 56 uh, to uh, Appoint someone as your fiduciary who you're, uh, you know, you're dealing with, so that they can. You're giving them the capacity to be able to set something off, and you're learning how to do this. So you know, a fictional entity cannot deny you as a man who's one of the people who are to um, things which is only of a privilege um, or some duty. Um, but that you have a right where a fiction doesn't but only has a uh, right and a duty and has a privilege and that you would never have reduced whatever you have down to only a privilege which um, wouldn't be right but everything that's sort of under constitutional um, can't be uh, that's constitutional it's constitutional of course can't be converted into a crime um, and so um, a police state often is existed because somebody cannot be functioning to fulfill the role of what they can. Someone else has to do that for others. And so then some, uh, you know, processes going on where 
most can be lay hidden more for most not to know that a judgment where it was is avoided ab initio because it's a risk that anything could be dismissed or cleared away because you've uh, retained a right um, you know, to pursue a claim, but you've just rebutted the fact that you've seen anything which you haven't. But then you're, you're honourably um, uh, saying that you're innocent or that you're uh, yeah, not guilty, uh, where something is in your own being, with, but then you're doing what you can to be an honourableness by forwarding what is necessary because that's an easy thing for you to do rather than being put to stay that some dishonor was that you wouldn't pay for whatever it was where you could, which is a tax rebate to your own self. So where somebody doesn't do this part of it, and they cannot be the full uh, fiduciary because they're not looking at it as a tax rebate for themselves, which they would get. So, you know, but you or anybody sort of has got to get this sort of a meeting of the minds um, and you'd be remembering what we're talking about, which is as a man or as a woman, you're sort of one of the people and it's um, um, you're not to pay uh, anything except a lawful debt yet to ensure the uniform value, you know, of what's coined and what's current, what's, what's in a current um, and you've got a responsibility just as everybody else does to make sure that something goes pop up uh, that's what you could be observed to see for your own right and everyone else's. Um, so um, it's a fact that it's a public policy um, that every obligation would be discharged and so payment of any debt um, that you do or anyone else does um, that isn't received which, it, which it's supposed to be is is going against public policy, yeah. So, you know, any debt where anything has existed is a illegal tender condition for you to have a rebate for, um, yeah, because public law one, um, um, or the House Joint Resolution 192, um, that, you know, happened in uh, 1932, and other things that have gone on since. Um, yeah, so um, as you're uh, the executive of your affair where you are, a general guardian, um, you have a right to be able to be an honour and to give things. Though your BC is yours, somebody can have um, given that to the Secretary of the Treasury and Social Security number and, and um, done an A4V with it. So, so your uh, social security account could be always zeroed out. But if somebody does not do any paperwork a bit to keep that up, which is you do, and it's a simple thing to do, um, it's that you have a bank account, which is, which is, uh, which is, uh, you're the you to put credit or off. Um, and uh, it is a routing number that's open and available. Uh, to process, you know, various items and everything that come along to you. Um, and so a lot of people could just do some part of this and that's just good enough because what you've done is to say that you're a man and you're not a corpse. Um, and um, you're um, understanding more that a lot of things that goes on is only being, could be recorded as minutes but not as an actual record. As a legal record, so a minute is not a legal record, but a lot of things can be put into someone's private folder to deal with for you, and that by accommodation of your name, you know, really making out like a bandit or did, and got, and then even suck it and got your tax credit of what what it was was the cost of everything, because someone didn't um, do the final paperwork or things and learn about what they could do to have the final paperwork and everything done. But, yeah, there's some simple things that somebody can do as they go forward where they are. And um, if you, you know, um, if you can't get any pay that you're looking at to stand in front of you, then it isn't real. So, you know, um, you know, a rock or a bird or something can't launch a, a lawsuit um, 
and anything which is in a in a fictional state isn't considered to be real um, and a party um, in interest versus a party only of interest. Um, um, and so, some, and so, then if nothing is on the other side living, it means you're the only living being there. You've used your court as your um, your court of record as you set things up for yourself, um, and then you're your own postmaster. Um, and so, someone really has to learn how to make a claim. You see, and a lot of these people, where everything or anything is never brought anyone else into their living state, so how could they make a claim um, of someone's fiction? Um, it would be that they wouldn't be understanding of actually the law to do that, because you can only do that if you've actually got somebody living there. You can only join a life of life. And somebody doesn't know these things somewhere there, some law sort of fact could throw something out, because it's just um, not taken care of as could be. But if somebody gets a greater, deeper understanding of everything, um, what you're doing is putting things forward so that fact and law isn't of any dispute and becomes non-controvertible so that um, um, you know, you're um, making sure that um, your body is with your will and not that your body can have been taken against your will in some way or um, and that there wasn't any valid um, lawful condition in the way something took place. Um, but it all starts, of course, as I said, um, with the presentment, because most have gone past that, and after you've gone past that, you've not dealt with what's supposed to be, because you're supposed to know who, who, and, and on the other side, they're supposed to know who. So who is done, and then you go on to what. But who and what can often not be, or just presuppose that that's existing, and that's where administratively it's possible for someone to clear things up more. Is this right. making sense, Luki? Yeah, I, I gotta be honest, you know, s sometimes I translate these things in my own head and I'm thinking that, you know, this contract, mm. uh, this law is actually dealing no, with having to do common with... common sense. You all got to just that make that common sense that. by understanding the process more or anyone else, because... It's, it's a simple conditioning of coming to something which is simple, but you, you or I or anyone living could use language which somebody couldn't as a fiction because a fiction can't be bad and um, a fiction can't sort of really ask uh, you know, a living being to show cause. Only a living being can ask someone to obey something or show cause. What words or anyone that does on their actions of feeling, smelling, things, more you're living in this, which a fiction can't do. Um, and so lots of things are just done with stamps, not really signed properly, and um, people can have lot of stamps, and things are not being addressed at all properly either, and lots of mistakes can have been made. Um, and that, you know, in a manner of speaking, somebody can be given a notice to a bag, uh, because the government really is a fictional party, basically. Yeah. Did you get that, mate? <laughs> I wrote some of it down. I know I've made a lot of mistakes, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm i just going to keep doing my best uh, to uh, become a success and hopefully, um, you know, follow in your footsteps. Well, anything that they could have. They could have a piece of paper, but they could be returned as the paper um, with a notice of mistake. And the actions that that law, that one can use and apply to abate um, whatever was sent to you, um, that was only done in their all caps. But one could pay for everything where it was by your getting the uh, uh, paperwork sorted out so that it shows you to be the principal in the actions that took place. Um, and everything that's an action kind of can't be where anything dead is because your own livingness um, is because action is utterly dead without you know what can commence uh, any action and that's your livingness you see so um, you 
to a jeweler in this same place, whatever is the weird. That's so some declaration that the court has. And then you're convincing things in another way by doing this, see? Right. One. Like yourself could be reduced to a piece of paper somewhere or something or a name. And so the very, in the beginningness, you're identifying who you are and you're getting a contract and it's more about this and it's all more of a declaration of the status of your, as you identifying information to who is out there as an agent maybe, typically, yeah? So, um, yeah, and that you didn't, you can't be accused of involuntary servitude. <laughs> you can't be accused of involuntary servitude, Lucy. <laughs> okay. And anyway, corpses are only applied actually just to collect money, that's all. And the owners, the ones as a man or a woman that you could actually hold liable for something, if any injury was, or to get something done more. But otherwise, if you're just talking to Casper, you know, that's going to be a bit insane because you're only talking to a fiction. Yeah. So one has to understand a little more about this administrative process, that's all. Because the fiction is really a limited liability. You can feel the as we were saying. Um, and, um, you know, what your life is, as no harm, injury, cost or damage was, no uh, crime was whatsoever. And some presupposition was existing that something was, perhaps, but wasn't. And there are laws are written in a show and a will, which is a future, meaning if some injury, cost, harm or damage was, well then something was written, but because nothing was, it would be not a true claim to, for someone to have gone forward and not not being the one who saw this. So in any situation, you know, you've got various um, tax forms and things that who's prosecuting you or anyone else, they have to have those because some claim has existed for them to be able to receive money from your account because they're saying you're, not a, you're a bad trustee um, of the matter of what they have where it's in front of them. Um, but if it was that you gave a 1099 ORD and gave proper paperwork and things and you um, paid for the debt and sorted it out, um, otherwise, um, you know, a lot of things are going on. Um, but that, that somebody would have to do that for themselves if that was of an error they made and you could have them just do that. But then if you had them do that, you wouldn't know if anything was dipped into your account, which it would be. Um, and then you're not the one who's getting any rebate as a tax rebate for that and, or participating in the system properly. So, you know, every moment of time it's possible for someone to learn what the um, proper tax forms and things are, you know, so that things can be done more so that you're actually really the uh, financial uh, fiduciary. And so then, you know, one can jump into their own suit because it's not a good thing that somebody could be just in someone else's suit because if you could do this as you can in someone else's suit, which you can, um, however then if there was a claim needed part of the point because you or anyone else wants to give notice of something existing, um, and that could be done just to anybody actually and not just a court or, uh, you know, it could be someone who says or is holding a note or holding a debt or something, um, you know, and um, who's there if they were an officer, certainly under oath, uh, that can then can be equivalent to injury that they just reduced you to only be a corpse. Um, yeah. I, um, so corpse, a corp oral, meaning dead speak, yeah. Okay. I know I can I can have more energy to apply to these things. Um, what I have been doing is working my way towards fasting more. I've been on strict life food for years now, but I feel like the next step to free up some of this energy is just to stop eating, maybe just liquid. 
Okay. Uh, well, um, it's an amazing thing that first uh, liquid consumption and food consumption relates a lot to uh, what uh, reduced to be just of a maximum or of a minimum of uh, inner chatter and how relaxed someone is in life and what their response is to things. Um, and these are things which really somebody should really pay attention to because, um, you know, if they did this, then they wouldn't have to be concerned about anything because eating during the day is a disaster because it's not going to let the, the intestine have any rest. And these are all behavioural things. And so, you know, what causes somebody to do all sorts of nibbledness through the day often a lot is, you know, because something is getting a reward. And so it's just an operant conditioning, which, you know, you or anybody could look at that um, video uh, that's done on um, eclipsenow.net. Um, and uh, but um, the biggest thing is that behavioural things could be going on and causing a person to overeat and things, yeah. And then other things which could really be to do with um, having over-breathed. So who has a lot of dialogue um, or extraneous is going to breathe a lot more. Who's reduced a lot of it um, is going to be a lot less and they're going to live a lot of life. Um, so, internal condition, like for somebody who is the more congruent and be able to pace and lead and have rapport and things where they are, they're going to have better uh, relations and better conditioning, yeah? Um, and uh, so, uh, urine uh, snorting to the nose to open up all passages and nose breathing to sleep forever. Um, yeah, to get rid of mouth breathing and to get rid of all congestedness of the nose because once an any small amount of over breath is, it slowly causes more postnasal uh, area like other than to be opened up, you see. And so then one's voice can be m much more not resonant from the lower and medial and uh, upper chambers which are existing in the sound. Um, and um, someone really should be looking at what sort of is there that's actually caused them to have some benefit, you know. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be in their own self um, robbing some condition like Peter to pay Paul. Um, and then you'd know that whatever that was there is is a benefit. Well, that all depends on Paul and what's going on there. Somebody's robbing Peter to pay Paul in themselves. You see, so Paul is the one that actually it depends upon because, you know, certainly um, Rob's just being um, robbed. Um, it's a, it's a, excuse me, Peter's being robbed. Um, and then if Paul's being paid, Paul's the one who actually is the benefitedness of what's going on there. So if you could say that it depends upon Paul, really, that that's going on, you know, in one's own self. Yeah. But... Um, if uh, somebody to reduce everything to life it as they can and your mind, like anyone else's, could just, uh, you know, transgress to be more into deeper areas that relate to the things in which you're able to be more, remain in the moment, more in balance, and certainly you've got like, good class captain skills and things lately. Thank you. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, being present is what one should be. Um, and one isn't obliged to do anything. Um, um, one doesn't have to have given any right away where one is or go along with anything that may be not necessarily proper presupposition. But, but to get somewhere, you know, somebody might need to be able to pace and lead and learn to have rapport. You see, yeah. Um, um, because of your or my ability to have discovered the things which is there. But many times though, there's a lot of things to be discovered, isn't there? And um, so how could somebody be making decisions as if those things have already been discovered, yeah? Does that make sense? Um, that one, kind of. Uh, well, some things actually where someone is have to be discovered to be able to make a statement um, often many things need to be discovered more and as then they are discovered as possible for someone to be able to have 
um, reasonable um, judgment and coming from common sense, you see. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I have uh, events coming up that I'll be promoting and I, you know, I do I take certain supplements to be able to participate at the level that is, yeah, exactly. you know, normal. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, well, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's right. right. Well, optimal, optimal performance, performance yeah. yeah. Um, let me see. I'll just take this, put this down out of my, off my ear. Um, optimal performance. Um, one of the things that actually really is fantastic for optimal performance is um, through your brain. And you've got um, glymph channels, which are really small and fine. And blood's got to, and um, fluid's got to flow through those. So, so, um, fluid has to flow to this. So it only opens up at night when you sleep um, and most people's brain has got to be able to cleanse itself and in acetyl neuraminic acid which is the primary substance in um, life hydrate reduces the surface tension on the uh, plasma and causes you know, more nutrients to be um, carried and absorbed by cells and um, this is a very vital substance that you're supposed to have, to have proper brain function, which is one of the major substances in breast milk and things. If we're talking about being able to have an acetyl neuraminic acid, which you would if you've got proper good brain gland function, which most people don't, um, but you'd have to produce a certain amount of that every day to be able to make sure the blood is remain soft and uh, the uh, uh, voice and uh, mouth is remain moist. So, uh, these things can truly be quite remarkable, have a remarkable effect. The, 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 the gut is really in, impacted a lot by the, uh, the brain is impacted by the gut. If you um, get rid of all the mucus and plaque from the uh, gut, um, the brain functions a lot better. Yeah. So, there's um, various things that you could get with evacuatives and better. Um, we have a, a great product called evacuatives, which um, used to be in a formula as it is in the skills, which people can get from Linda. Otherwise, there is also another formula which I've produced, which is really uh, like a, um, a concentrate of the element in essence, pure, and put on the skin to some thermite token cross over the uh, mucous membrane to get into the uh, cells and uh, be transported and everything. Yeah. So, um, another one which I uh, really always am thinking about is we're coming out once an ergogenic aid, meaning you want something to make, assist you to get work more done efficiently and have the elements necessary to get work done properly. It's what ergogenic aid. And the well done formula that we have, which also is done in similar ways, but a, a formula today which is like more in a nutraceutical format of that. And then we have the other formula too, which is just the herb of it. Um, and uh, that's the well done formula. So, um, so perform enhancing performance, what anybody can do is energy uh, adenosine triphosphate and then when it gets spent it comes to be called adenosine diphosphate and when it becomes to be adenosine diphosphate it can be reactivated again that you've got substance like glyphosate which has got a lot of spare north negative to give you energy. Yeah so um, it might be of an interest with you for us at some point to talk more, perhaps if that's interesting about nutrients and stuff. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll um, get off the phone now, or if we can be complete with perhaps this. Um, it would be nice if people could hear um, some things, which is our discussion a little bit, 
So we've really been talking more about the administration of who I is um, in relation to everything that you have around yourself and learning more about this. And um, uh, there's a lot, a lot to that. And um, yeah, so anyway, um, if you love, it's possible um, to connect back in the next moment as soon as you'd like to. We can do part two, part three, or if you'd love, there's some questions that you have about what we've been talking about. I would love that. Thank you, mate. I'm going to cut this and tag you. Yeah. Um, so um, we'll, we'll do part two coming up in a second as you feel drawn to just whenever. And if you feel like we'd like to be having a bit of a focus on, uh, as, you, as you thought, because you've got a lot of people listening and they're interested in learning more about how to have uh, more vitality, what can they do to assist themselves and what might be some of the things they could truly do that can improve everything better. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> love you, Vicky. I love you too, mate. Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, bye.